everybody, welcome back to Acres of Adventure. If you're new here, my name's Tom, and if you click this video, I'm guessing you're just like me. You wanted to find a way to give your chickens a healthier diet because what they're gonna produce for you is food for yourself. So if you're giving them food that is not good, your eggs probably aren't gonna be as good either. So you're looking for a way to find a healthier diet for them, good nutrients, good food, real food, and you wanna get away from the commercial diet, which when you open up one of those bags, um, I don't know what to say. You just look at it and you can tell, doesn't look like real food, doesn't look very appetizing, right? And you're probably looking for something that looks more like this. Real food that you know what it is and you know exactly what your chickens will be eating. Yeah, I don't really need to go into detail. If you're here at this video, there's a reason you're here just like I was. So I don't really wanna waste your time and talk too much about everything else. I wanna get right into what food we're putting into our chicken feed, what's the benefits of each one individually, how much we're putting into, and then how to break down that protein percentage that everyone worries about. And I'm gonna give you real reasons of why, maybe not to stress too much about that number, but let's get into the chicken food now. I may have my daughter coming out to help. She's very excited about helping with this chicken food, so. I have a 30 gallon tote that I'm gonna be storing it all and mixing it all in. So the very first ingredient I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to do it by the amount of quantity to the least amount of quantity. First one here is whole oats. This is a big 50 pound bag that, maybe it's 40 pound. I think it's a 40 pound bag. This is a 40 pound bag and you can find these at any of your local farm stores. Oats will supplement um, a fair amount of protein along with energy, nutrients, and they do also provide antioxidants. And you can get a big bag of these oats for only like $13 um, ranging. So if you're doing this on a price budget, um, oats are definitely a good one to have into your feed. And of course, with any of these ingredients that I'm gonna be saying after this, if you ever want to go for the organic or non-GMO versions of any of these, you're always welcome to. I would suggest that's a good idea. But right now with our budget, we had to play around with what we could use. So, so we'll start out with 30 pounds of this in here. All right, next up, uh, we're gonna have whole corn. Uh, this is probably going to be the most controversial one on this list compared to all the rest of them. But corn, uh, especially the whole corn in the winter time for a state like us here in Michigan where it gets this cold, corn is a great source of energy. You can see my dogs, they love playing with the chickens. Uh, corn is a great source of energy for the chickens during the winter time to keep their body nice and warm. So. Corn is something that we're gonna put into our diet, but there is a lot of corn-free and soy-free diets out there for you to choose from. Once again, this is a very good, like this is a 40 pound bag. I think I got for $9 at our farm store. So, so we're gonna add about 20 pounds of corn. So I'll do about half the bag. I'm gonna be mixing it as I pour so that it's not so hard to mix at the end. For the third ingredient, this will be another 20 pounds of this one, but uh, people call this boss. It is black oil sunflower seed, so B-O-S-S. -S. And this is a lot of in bird feeds. So if you are going to a farm store and you are looking for where to find this, go to the bird section and that's where you're gonna find it. Chickens are birds, so don't be weird about that. That obviously makes a lot of sense. The benefits to putting sunflower seeds into your chicken's diet is this is a great protein source. Um, I know that a lot of the ones above their laying age, so around 16, 18 weeks, which our chickens are at, you wanna have a minimum of about 16%, and that's the minimum. So you can always obviously go over that. You don't wanna make it like 30 or 40% because that'd be excessive. This will be a good protein source for them. It makes their feathers shinier and it also makes their feathers water resistant. Along with, I've, um, a lot of people say that this is one of the big items in a diet that produces their egg production to go higher. So if you want to get more eggs from your hens, and make sure you have this one in your diet. So we're gonna do about, this is a 25 pound bag, so I need to do 20 pounds, so I'll just save a little bit or maybe I'll just put the whole thing in. I mean, it's not really worth probably keeping just a little bit for right now. The next ingredient we're gonna put in there is split peas. 
split peas are gonna be one of the other ones that are higher for your protein content for your chickens. So if that's a number that you're really worried about, um, legumes, seeds, those sorts of things are the things that you're gonna wanna add into your diet for your chickens. And that is one of the main things for them. Obviously peas, just like any other vegetable that you're gonna feed them, uh, great nutrients, minerals, and vitamins inside them for them. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna add our 10 pounds of peas, and that's all I really got to say about these ones. So I'm gonna have my helper help. Me. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. Peas. You mix them around for me? And uh, the last ingredient for our chicken feed that we are making will be flax seeds. Flax seeds, just like if they were going to be consumed by us, very high in the omega 3 fatty acids. And what that's gonna do for your chickens, it's gonna make their feathers stronger, it's gonna help the appearance of their feathers. This is another one of the items that is gonna improve your egg laying production for your hens. Um, because these are high omega-3 fatty acids, that's also gonna help the eggs that you're getting from your hens have a high omega-3 into their eggs. So remember, you are what you eat. And flax seeds are actually one of the top protein sources that you can have inside your chicken feed. Um, that's why I only have about five pounds of it for this mix is because you don't need it to be overly consumed for your chicken so that their protein isn't through the roof. I don't know if it's from the omega for it, but people also say that flax seeds are what make your eggs even taste better from your hens. So this was something definitely that I wanted to put in our mix. It's a little more expensive, but if you buy it in bulk, you can get it a tad cheaper. But this is one that's really going to make it worth it, it made it seem. So let's dump this one into our mix. And this is how your feed will look now, instead of like how the commercial feed looks. So now you know exactly what you're feeding your chickens. It's all real stuff. And it looks so much better than that stuff that you're gonna buy at the store for your chickens. And it's gonna be healthier and it's gonna make your egg production go up and your eggs taste even better. So this is everything that I have for my chicken feed. Uh, I'm gonna break down the protein percentages and how if you want to manipulate it yourself, how would you make your own chicken food and how to know those protein percentages so that you can hit that minimum of 16. Uh, the first thing I'll show you guys is the protein contents of different options that you can have for your chicken feed. So as you can see, flaxseed is the highest at 37. Then it has brewer's yeast. You see black oil sunflower seeds, which is two of the top things that we use right there, the number one and the number three. Then we have sesame seeds, and I don't really, I'm not gonna read this whole entire list, but you can see this list right now, and I maybe will put it down in the description below so that anyone making their own chicken feed, you would have this list at your disposal. So I'll probably put it in the description below for you guys here so that you can have it for yourself. And now I'll get a breakdown of the one that I did. If you're trying to calculate it out for yourselves, right here, first thing, 30 pounds whole oats. So I did the 30 times what the percentage was of the protein, which was 15, so I did it times 0.15, and then you get 4.5%, and then you just did so on. So 20 pounds of corn ended up being 1.8, 20 pounds of black olive oil sunflower seeds is gonna be 5.8, black seed five pounds, and then for, I actually only did five pounds of split peas at first, and then I did five pounds of lentils. And after looking into lentils and going over and over again what I was gonna do, it looked like dried lentils are not a good idea for your chickens. So and scratch that, and I ended up just doing 10 pounds of split peas. So if you did 10 times the 0.25, I would get 2.5. So my minimum right here of protein turned out to be 16.45%. And, hi, who's good boy? You good boy? You watching those chickens? Huh? You watching the chickens? All right, protect them. So this comes out to 16.45, which will get you over that 16% minimum if that's what you're looking to do. But now here's my spiel for anyone who is strict on that 16%. Yes, you still want your main feed to be at 16% if you can, but if you're feeding them mealworms, if they are free-ranging, getting bugs, insects, worms, uh, possible mice, 
chickens sometimes will eat mice. And scraps from your guys' kitchen, vegetables, fruits, any kind of protein sources that you guys have that were scraps, then they're getting extra protein that way too. So there's always supplements and treats that you're feeding them as well. So if it's really close to that 16% or just over like mine is and you're worried about that, don't be as long if you are still feeding them kitchen scraps and they get to free range or you're feeding them mealworms as extra supplements, that's all extra protein for them. So don't stress so much about that 16%. The last thing that I will do to this feed, I did not mention it, but I'm just gonna sprinkle some DE into it so that will help also with digestion. Also with just helping with getting all the bad stuff out of their body. So it is the last ingredient. It's not a major component, but it is something that you should be putting into your chicken feed for them. Make sure you get the food grade one. It's, it's in all the farm stores. Another thing that I think is important, uh, it's not part of the chicken feed, but another important part of your chicken's diet that you should have is you're gonna want oyster shells and grit. Something they should always have and it should just be free choice for them. Grit is something that'll be good for the chicken gizzards along with uh, being able to break down their food. So that is something that is important for their diet, obviously. You want the food that they're consuming that they're able to break it down and digest it better. And also, oyster shells are something that's gonna provide extra calcium and it's gonna make the shells of the eggs that they lay very tough and it won't be so flimsy and break so easily and there you have it if you're looking to make your own chicken food uh, a thing about this recipe just so that there's the people out there i know that like to do this all these items can be fermented so if you want to soak them for 24 hours or so beforehand and then feed it to your chickens obviously there is a lot of people who like to do that for their chicken feed and understandably it makes extra food because it's going to grow and expand and it also helps the nutrients and the value of a lot of those food items that is something that we'll be doing for our chicken feed so it is an option out there for the recipe that we made today just so you guys know so once again guys, thanks again for everybody who's clicked this video and was able to watch it. If this chicken food and the protein calculations or any of that really helped you guys and you enjoyed the video, please don't be afraid to subscribe to us. We do a lot of other videos about chickens that you guys might enjoy, along with our big great Pyrenees that you guys saw earlier. Uh, you guys seem to like videos about him. So we'll still make sure that we're doing videos about the big boy. But yeah, thanks again, really. And if there's any reason, uh, comment below now that if there's anything that you do different with your chicken food, anything that you feel like I'm doing wrong with my recipe. I love hearing back from everyone and whenever you guys comment on our videos, we really do enjoy being able to communicate and talk with you guys. So we really appreciate that. But it is cold out and now I have about uh, 80, 90 pounds of food that I need to bring to the back shed. I'll see you guys in the next vlog and have fun making your own chicken food, okay? Bye. Thank <laughs> you.